Hi, this is Les Perrier, and today we're going to be learning about the Ken Burns effect in iMovie. The Ken Burns effect can be used to pan across a photo or a video. You can go diagonally, you can go up and down, um, so there are a couple of different ways to do it. So let me show you how to do it. So what I have here is I have a, a photo of me and my son at uh, Augusta National at the Masters. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this down. And now we go up to the, the cropping symbol up to, here to the right. If you can see it, it says cropping. So we're going to head and click on that. And it's set to fit, so we want to change that to Ken Burns. So we click on Ken Burns. Now, I want you to notice that there are two rectangles. One in the corner says start, and the other says end. So what this means is, wherever you put the start rectangle is where the pan is going to begin. And where you put this end rectangle is where the pan will end. So... Let me kind of show you how that works. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the uh, pan over. Get back to the start. Start the pan over to, uh, let's say, over to the hole. This is the 11th, no, the 12th hole at Augusta. So that's where we're going to start it. We can actually go up a little higher if we want. And you know, notice that you have an arrow there that shows you the direction that the pan is going to travel. All right, so now I click on the end, and I want to make that smaller. And then I move it down to show that we ended up on my son and I. All right? So we're starting here at the hole, and we are going to end up at my son and I. Let's go back to the beginning of the clip, and now we can start it, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so as you saw, it moved from the top left at the hole where I wanted it to start, and then it's going down to show our faces. You might look at that and say, wow, Les, that is really going fast. How can I slow that down? Well, there's a speed button up here, but it doesn't work for photos. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to Lengthen the clip itself in order to slow it down. So I'm just going to lengthen it about that much. And we'll go ahead and start it over again. And we'll click it. And it'll take a little longer to get there. Okay. So we have gotten to the end of that. Now, what if we want to change the direction in which the pan is going? Well, that's no problem. We can go back over here to the Ken Burns effect. Now, let's say that we want to start it at... Go ahead and move the end here. We'll move the end out of the way, and then we'll start it let's say, at the top, and then we want to go down. So we're going to pan down. All right, now we want to probably make it a little smaller on the start. So we're going from the sky down to us. Let me go ahead and make sure that we're in the picture here. All 
There we go. Now, if you want to move these up, see this little cross here? Then that's actually how you move it. And then you can widen it by grabbing the corners. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, that was a pretty good pan. Now, one more thing. What if we want to pan and get it right on the face of somebody? So what we'll do is we'll start... Oh, I don't know. We'll start maybe down here at the left. And then we want to get it, say, on my son's face. Right directly on his face. That way you won't have to look at me. So we're closing this. We're closing in on his face and his face alone. Okay. So let's go back to the start of the clip. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so that was your Ken Burns effect on different directions. And you can use it to really enhance your project. If you really want to see it in action, you can look at the Civil War documentary that Ken Burns did. And it really made him famous. And so he used this panning effect all the way through that documentary. And it really made a difference. If you want to make a difference in your photos or in your videos, because this will work in videos as well, then you can use the Ken Burns panning effect. I hope that helped you. And I'll see you again next time.